Welcome everyone. What this is, is going to be geared for new coaches and we're going to do one every week for the next four weeks. Well, and obviously we won't do one on Thanksgiving. So, um, it'll be until then or, and then maybe we'll do one after, but, um, I really think it's important that you guys are on this call because you're going to learn a lot, um, of basic stuff, especially this one. We're going to talk about basic stuff. Um, and then what it's going to happen is as you're going through the new coach training, you're going to, well, like next week, we'll talk about the, the, the days, probably like the second week of new coach training and then the third. So I'll go along with it, but we kind of want to break it down to make it a little simpler. Cause you're probably going through new coach training. Like, Holy moly, there's a lot of information. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's completely normal. We all were like, Holy cow. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm like, like spending so much time learning this stuff. So that's totally normal. And as you get into the groove, I would say in a couple months, you're going to be like, okay, I get it. I know what I need to do daily. And then like your extra time, you'll be watching like YouTube videos on how to grow certain parts of your business and stuff like that. But for now, we kind of want to make it simple for you. And we want to be here for you guys to ask questions because it's just easier to do it like this. And then other people might be sharing the same feelings you are and that type of thing. So Doreen is on the call with us. She is one of our two star diamonds on um, Dream Again. She is amazing. She's been with us for a year. Yep. And um, she knows her stuff. She's my go-to. Like if I think, like if I have any ideas or questions or whatever, I'm going to her. She knows Beach Buddies ins and outs and everything. So, um, she's gonna be on here too. Kind of, she's like the best person to talk to about building relationships. Like that's pretty much what she does all day long. Like that's, and that's why her business is so great, is because she provides so much value to people, and she's very kind and loving and she cares about other people's lives, not just selling something. So that's why she's super successful. Um, so Carrie's on too. And we have Jillian. Those are some of our coaches that are diamond, our leaders on our team. And they're probably, they can probably jump in too um, later on. But what we're going to talk about today is kind of like, how do I get started as a coach? I'm, I feel like I'm being pulled in all directions, but what are the most important things that I need to do right now um, to grow your business? So obviously the new coach training, you guys need just to be consistent with that and take notes on it. And then you're going to go back through your notes as you get, um, as you know, you kind of figure stuff out. And you'll learn more things like there's the social media and the branding and all that you'll get to, you'll, you'll be better at doing those things the more you do it. So make sure you're going through that. Now it doesn't have to be like, if you're busy, I, I mean, I went through them back to back just because that worked better for me. Some people go through them one every day. That's fine too. Whatever you decide is right for your life. That's, that's what you need to do. So the new coach training and the inspiration dream team website, that's the training I'm talking about. If you're totally done, awesome. If you're totally done. Reach out to your upline coach. Um, you could move on to the Emerald training. Um, and we can also help guide you in what other things that you guys can be doing to, um, help train you. <clears throat> All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the three vital behaviors, which you guys probably know what they are. Um, so the first thing I want to say is you need to take care of yourself first. Um, in this business, it's so easy to jump into the business and kind of be like, well, I have just this much time to focus on the business. So I'm going to skip my workout or I'm going to skip my Shakeology, or I'm going to skip my meal planning. But the most important thing, because you can't do anything else until you get yourself taken care of. So you have to take care of your workouts, your drinking, being a product of the product, right? It's so important. So we don't feel like we have, we're selling it. 
and um, personal development. Um, and it's so, it's something I skipped in the beginning and it caught up with me. I was running on adrenaline and then I got really down because people were saying no to me left and right. And I was like, what's going on? I can't do this. And all this, you know, the, the negative feelings came pouring in. But the personal development is the only thing that kept me sane after. Mindy's like, are you doing personal development? I'm like, honestly, no. And I got back on track. I started with the compound effect, go-giver. Uh, we have a list of books in our Dream Again page um that can help you with that slight edge was huge for me as well so make sure you're fitting in that time mine was on the drive to work so and now it's right when i wake up so it depends on how your life is i was listening to it in the car on the way home on the way to work even with my kids they were like oh my gosh seriously they're gonna they're gonna be so that i wonder why my my daughter's so strong-willed and sassy <laughs> So, um, that's what you need to do first is take care of yourself. Okay. The next thing, um, we talked about in our last call and Carrie talked about her morning schedule and we'll get into what that entails in a little, a little bit of it, a little bit of it, I'll say, but you create a schedule for yourself because honestly, if you don't from the beginning, it can take over your life. And I don't want you guys I don't want Beachbody to be your life, right? It's going to enhance your life. It is a part of your life. You are a coach, yes, but it shouldn't be your everything. You have a family. You have your job, probably. Um, so make sure you do carve out time for it, but I don't want you guys to be on your phone constantly because a lot of times when we are on our phone constantly, we're burnt out. Like right now, I feel like I'm burning out, so I need to take time away from my phone. So I need to put it away because this whole last week I was on it. I was doing all the stuff. I'm putting these trainings together, and you get burnt out. So I want you guys to set some boundaries, set some um, some business hours, um, and stick to it. So we talked about in our call on Monday, the morning time is the best time to get your power hour, your power of threes in. Because you're waking up, it's the first thing on your list to do, whether it's um, building those relationships. Um, and some of you guys that are brand new on this call, you might not know what the power of threes are, you might not know what the power hour is, and that's okay. As soon as you go through your training, you'll learn kind of what that entails. Um, Doreen has the chart. She has one of the charts. Um, but if you do it first thing in the morning, and this might mean you have to wake up an hour early or half hour early or whatever. I mean, when I was teaching, I was waking up before five just to fit this in because it gets your day started right. If you friend request a couple of people in the morning, if you start a conversation, with a couple people in the morning. If you send out a couple invites um, in the morning as well, you feel like you've, you're accomplished. You feel like, wow, okay, I got, I got halfway through my power of threes or whatever, and I feel good starting the day. I feel good going to work. I feel like I did something. Maybe you post in a group as well. So it really gets your mind right. Um, and you don't feel so overwhelmed coming home at night trying to fiddle. Because honestly, if you guys are working and you have a family and you're tired and you're fitting in your workouts, at nighttime, you're going to be like, I don't feel like inviting anyone anywhere. And it's going to show in your attitude. Like when you reach out and start to talk to someone, if you're tired, if you're cranky, it's going to show, you know? So I feel like the morning time's the best time. Doreen, do you want to add something to that? Yeah. Um, the morning is 100%. I mean, Tara, Tara knows I'm going, I'm so excited and I've done this and I, you know, I'm all revved up and then I go to work and I feel, um, I think Jillian said it's liberating. Mm -hmm. It is liberating to do it in the morning. So Carrie showed me this really complicated system she used a little notebook from the dollar store 
and she puts her little categories here and writes down the names and so do I now so Can you tell I, them what the categories are well just yeah mine are really simple mine are follow-ups value if I add value say happy birthday to someone contact with people inviting and forming and then down here I have a little section for if I contacted a pre a present customer or coach so that I rotate and keep in touch with everyone. Um, so you can do, you can actually use this as a checklist instead of writing all the names in, yeah. I used to write all the names in and it got cumbersome mm -hmm. and I started to avoid it. So if you want to use it like a checklist or I have that other checklist I use that's very short and concise, you know what I'm talking about, Tara? It's just got some characters. Yeah. All right, I'll have to print one out. I can't take it out. Um, well, uh, send it to me and I can put it. We'll yeah, put it I'll send it to you in the page. You see, uh, it, that's it. It's just a checklist. And I actually put it in a sleeve, a plastic sleeve, and I just check it with a dry erase. And at the end of the week, I just erase it. Um, just so I know, I'm adding three friends and returning messages, inviting people, following up, planning my posts, posting my groups, checking in the team page. Routine, 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 routine. I get all of that done, but I mean, the first thing I do in the morning, wake up, I do the workout, get it out of the way. It is, otherwise it's an elephant on your shoulders the entire day. That and the inviting. If you message people first thing in the morning, they have the entire day to message you back. And if you have a break, you have lunch, you message people back. By the time you go home, George asked me, he said, don't you have beach body to do? Because I was laying on the couch with the dog. And I'm like, I'm done. I, I mean, you know, I did it. I did twice, three, four times as much as I needed to do. I was able to take a break for the first time. So it's given me back my nighttime hours. And Carrie said the same thing, that it's given her back family time. If you do it in the morning and knock it out, your husband's boyfriend will not be ready to kill you. It's so true. It's and true. You know, when you have it listed like that, we'll post Doreen's list. I will, I'll post it. When yeah. you have it and you're checking them off, and you go through it fast. Like it may seem like when she's talking, it may seem like, wow, that's a lot to do. But honestly, you can bang that out so quickly. What it's not even an hour. It's not even an hour. Honestly, at night, it's three hours because I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I don't feel like talking to people. The thought of messaging someone is a drag. In the morning, I get the power hour done in less than 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm messaging 20 to 25 people, and I'm friending 10 people. I'm doing much more than we're asking you to do, you know, because I'm used to it. You know, and I want to go, that's the pace I want to go. But for you to do three, 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 you're going to, you could probably be done in a half an hour with follow-ups, with messages, with checking in, with posting. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to come. And it's just going to be like, like just a part of your morning routine. Um, and some people are more like work out in the morning. And I didn't when I was working just because for me, like it depends on how the person that you are for me for working out, I'm going to get it done no matter what. So I could put it off, but I'm going to make it happen. It was okay. better. It was, but Dory is not like that. No, nope. If I don't do it in the morning, it doesn't get yeah. done. That's how a lot of people are. But for me, I was getting up and I was like, listen, I can get up at four 30. It's not fun. But if I'm just sitting there, getting up, I'm not moving and I can work, you know, it's better than like, so that's, that's the way I looked at it. And, and honestly, guys, it's gonna, it gets easier and it will pay off. Every morning you wake up, you think to yourself, listen, I'm doing this because I want to grow my business. I'm doing this because I see a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm doing this because of your why. Your why will drive you to wake up early to do it. And that's exactly the, that's what got me up every time. So think about, you really have to think about your vision and why and where you see yourself in a year, where you see yourself in two years. Um, and that's going to drive you. That's the only reason. I mean, we love this business. We do. We're like obsessed. So. But um, we also have a why and a vision for our lives. And that's what's driving us to do it when we don't feel like it. Um, okay, so making sure somebody has a question. Okay, 
Wait a minute. Somebody waved. Who waved? Elaine? No, okay, sorry. I thought you waved. <laughs> so um, we want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and, get, and putting together a schedule. And then through the day, like Doreen said, on your lunch break, I mean, I used to, I was on my phone returning messages. And then when I got home, checking into my groups and stuff like that, there's ways where you can organize your time, where you can put together your posts, like you can store them on your phone and maybe the write-ups in the notes section of your phone. Um, you can do that. And like I used to do it during some downtime at work when I didn't have internet on my phone. Um, so I would like put together creative stuff and just store it on my phone for later use. I know Teresa takes part of the, her day on Sunday and she just bangs out like all of her posts for the week because she's super busy and works a lot and has two kids. So depending on how you want to do it, that's a great way to, just to, so you're not like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to post today. You know, like we, I mean, we've all been there. But we have a calendar to kind of help you. But here's what I want to say. This is the next thing we're going to talk about anyway, posting. You must share your journey. Like I posted Micah's video. I don't know if you guys all saw it, um, but I could post it again. I could bump it up. She talked about sharing your journey and people are going to start seeing you, start seeing your stuff. And not everyone, don't think all of your friends are seeing your stuff on your Facebook page. They're not. You're starting to post more and it's going to be, it's people, more people are going to start to see it, but not everyone is seeing it. So it's called Facebook affinity. And the more you post, the better your affinity is. Um, so what do you post? I remember saying to myself, my life is not interesting. I don't even know what to post. I think I might be funny, but I don't know if anyone else thinks I'm funny. So like, <laughs> So that's, you know, and in the beginning, I really didn't post a lot, but you have to, you have to say, okay, I'm only posting one time about health and fitness, beach body, any of that one time, it's all included. The other couple times I would recommend three. Um, the other couple times it's going to be about your life your life, something funny that happened, a question. Maybe you can ask a question. A lot of times people love that. They love answer, giving their opinions, right? So ask a question, even if you don't really want someone's opinion, ask. Like if you're thinking about a new pair of sneakers, ask them what kind. If you're thinking about a new dress or a new hairstyle, ask them which one, even though you know which one you're picking, ask. Because the more comments you have, the more people are going to start seeing your stuff. Cause that's what, if you have a lot of comments, Facebook's like, wow, that's a popular post. I'm going to put our stuff in more people's news feeds. That's someone that ranks high on Facebook's new on the news feed. So that's why we say post three times a day. Now being consistent in that is super important because like Micah said, if you're just posting, once a week, and then you throw in a challenge group post, people are going to be like, well, she just wants to sell me something. But if you're consistently posting about your journey, something you're eating, um, then people are going to be like, wow, she's really taking care of herself. I really admire that. And when you post about a challenge group, they might not jump in right away, but they're going to start thinking about it. And in time, especially January, they're going to be like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on that. I'm hopping on that train. So, um, postings. So, so important. We can tell like when people are like, my business isn't moving or I'm not, it's because we, and when you look on their page, we're like, that's why. Cause you're posting here and there when you want to fill a challenge group, but that's it. You know, Torian, what do you think about that? Um, if I tell you, I didn't listen to the last message. <laughs> I just talked about posting. How it's posting. So um, you have to post. I think you should post even more. I, I think you should post even more because only 20, 10 to 20% of the people are seeing your posts. So if you made 10 posts, you're going to still have people that did not see one of them. It's just Facebook until you get your affinity up. Right. I mean, so 
Don't be afraid to post, but post fun. Yeah, I mean, a variety, a recipe, something motivational, but don't just slap a poster up. Nobody wants to just read. There goes my thing, my screensaver. No one wants to read posters every day. Um, if you put a poster up, write a story with it. Everything should have like a little story, a reason you're posting it. Um, you know, your life, your kids, your boyfriend, your dates. Something your funny. Something funny. Funny you videos. Know, I mean, I didn't do my workout the other morning. And I was, I'm trying to hold myself accountable. I want to do these 21 days in a row with these people. So I had a picture of myself like this. And I was like, I, I didn't make it. I ran out of time. So I was like, somebody make me do it later today and people messaged me all day and I went to work and somebody said to me you didn't get your workout in you know people are watching and then when I did do it I was like there it is video proof and people were laughing and you know making a story people think they're talking to you all day it is so funny because people will eventually message you as if you've been having a conversation with them because they're watching you, reading all your stuff, and they feel like you've been chatting all day. They're your friends now. So the more you post, the more you share, but it has to be something of interest. It has to be something that's interesting to them. So something that adds value. Tara's big about add value, add value, add value. Post an article, post something about nutrition, post something about fitness, but post something that's interesting. Or recipes are really interesting. Community um, activities, if you have kids or whatever. Anything that's really interesting, funny, fun, they want to see. And they're getting to know you, but they also want to know you work out. They should know you work out. They should know you drink a shake. They should know you're in groups. They should know you're you know, helping the lead groups. They should know that you're getting healthy so that when you post, join my group, they have the confidence that you can help them get healthy. Yeah. You know, and don't think that you have to start like today saying, okay, this week I have to post about every single thing. Like, no, because people are going to be like, whoa. Yeah, too much, too much. Yeah. <laughs> So just start it. Like if you don't post on Facebook, you just have to start weaving it in and maybe writing out a schedule of, okay, on Monday, I'm going to post about this. And then maybe on Wednesday, I'm gonna, like, write it out for yourself. It's going to help you. Like, even in, if you have a calendar, try to, okay, today I'm going to post about that. That's what I do. I say, I'm going to do this type of foot post and motivational post this, you know, and it can really help start you off in your story because honestly what facebook is is your bread you're leaving breadcrumbs of your story and people are following you they're not following you because you're a beach body coach they're following you because they like you they like the things you post they feel connected to you you're providing value to them that's why they're not they're not following you for beach body no, they want to see what you have to say next. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, a lot of people say to me, I love your posts. I love to follow you. You know, even when they have a different coach or something like, can I still be your friend? Because I really like what you post, you know, and it's, it means that I'm providing value to them. They're finding something in my day that's valuable, even if it's silly. You know, I mean, picture my cat tonight, you know, whatever. So they get to know you. I mean, people know I have cats. They know I have a puppy. They know I you know, whatever, go to Amish country, whatever. They know whatever about me. They should know stuff about you. Right. And no, Jillian, Jillian's like, gives great stories. Carrie gives great stories. Tara's a hot mess today. <laughs> and that's, that's her theme today. But, the, and it's so funny because when she said, to, you know, like ask people what color sneakers, you know, which sneakers should I get this one or this one? It's so funny because when Tara will post that, you're so tempted to answer it. I'm like, she doesn't want me to answer it. She's looking for her friends to answer it. And there's Mindy answering you today. Did you see that? She gave you her opinion on the next book to read. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but those are some good, those are good books. That I've they been books. Yeah, I looked into some of those. So if you guys, uh, what was I going to say before you said that? I don't know, sorry. Tara, can I say something? Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I was on a call with you and you talked about how 
Um, you want people to get to know you because then they trust you and how you talked about how you loved Kelly Ripa. And if she said, you watch her and you feel like you know her, if she said, I'm going to buy this face, like this facial moisturizer, then you would buy it. So along with us posting all the time and telling your story, these people get to know you. So when you, when they ask about the 21 day fix or they're asking about the products, they believe you when you tell them how you feel about it because you're building a connection with them and you don't realize it by just your posts. I only post one time on Sunday and I had someone from my like page that I added, ask me if I was sick because I didn't post three or four times a day. And she knew that wasn't normal for me, but, um, so you're also letting them get to know you and they, they learn to trust you that way by sharing your story. Mm -hmm. It's so true. And that's like the key to this business. It really is. So if you're scared about posting and you feel weird, start slow, start with two a day and then move your way up and then get up. You know what? Honestly, um, you, here's the thing in the beginning of my business, I was like, okay, I want to appeal to everyone, men, women, all, you know, cause I want customers to come to me. Right. But then I'm like, listen, I can't relate to someone that like um, a male that's 25. Why would I want to do posts for that t target, right? So you have to think about, I'm posting for people like me. That's who I want as coaches and customers because that's who I'm going to be able to talk to like a normal person. I'm not going to be able to talk to someone that's you know, 25 in a male and you know, it's just weird. It would be weird. And I would feel awkward in our conversation when it flow. So that's the thing you want to be posting to people like yourself, like think of what you would like to see. And that's how you post. Um, okay. Sharing your journey, morning schedule three, five. Oh, when to post. So a lot of times the best times to post you guys, Okay. So it depends. I feel like it depends on your schedule. Like when I was working, I would post the same times every day and that would be early, early morning. I would, and that's when I, people were expecting it because I always posted the same type of thing. Micah does the same thing. She doesn't do early, early morning because a lot of her people are like 9am ish because they don't work. There are a lot of stay at home moms. So she posts around that time, like she'll post her workout and that type of thing. So I guess it depends on what you do, but if you start doing something, stay consistent with it. And then you could see if it really takes off. Right? You agree with timing? And then I would do a lunchtime and then I would do a dinner. This is how you can start. You can start with a morning, a lunchtime, and then right after dinner or whatever. And then if you get co more comfortable, you can start interweaving like a late afternoon. Mid, you know, you can add one or two in there. That's what I, I, I still do. A morning, I try to do one at lunch and one after dinner. If I forget lunch, I forget lunch. You know, yeah. um, I try to post something. And somebody said, um, I don't remember who it was. It was probably you, Tara said that by lunchtime, people are thinking about dinner. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a good time to post a recipe. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, I could make this for dinner, and they still have time to go get the stuff to make it. Mm -hmm. So then you have a whole conversation there. So in the morning, I post a workout or shake or personal development, something beach body related, but without saying beach body. It's something she's doing herself, not just me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. It's something I'm doing. So, you know, today was a... A modification of on 21 day fix between cat and what autumn was doing you could really see it on the on the video so I posted that um, or sometimes it'll be a shake one day I buckled my shake into the seat belt and I, I captioned safety first you know how many likes I got no so, that's funny like it was funny right yeah. you know I mean how many different ways can you show a blueberry shake but I find ways you know um, the other day I made it so thick. I make it the same way every day. It's so thick. I can't drink it, but nobody knows that. So I took it and I turned it upside down outside. I made sure you could see the beautiful leaves in the background. And I said, you think it's too thick? And I had myself like this, you know, but they got the point. I'm drinking a shake, right? You know, and, and some of you guys might be afraid. Like I remember my first selfie 
It probably well, took me, it took me like forty times because I couldn't get it right, and it was so weird. And I was so embarrassed, like posting a selfie because it's like it's almost it, you know in my head I'm like it's like saying hey look at me you know, but guys the more you do and Micah is my she's my success partner and that's why I mention her a lot. We've done a lot of stuff in um, as we grow as we grew as coaches, but she is like queen of selfies and like. She gets so many people commenting, like it's nothing now, like it's normal and it will be normal for you. And, but you don't have to do the standard same old selfie. If you don't feel comfortable right now, you'll get there, but you can take a picture of your workout area. You can take a picture of what you're eating for breakfast. You can take a picture of your kids um, trying to steal your Shakeology or working out with you. That's huge. Um, you know, there's so many things, ways to do it where it's, where you wouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, look at me. I'm lifting weights. You know, like it's, it is, it is weird. Your first selfie, if you haven't taken one yet. It's a first weird. thousand feel funny. <laughs> yeah. And now I have an app that actually, cause it, there's an, it's like a real, it's a good app where it like softens your skin and you look so nice and it like talks to me. So it'll like. It'll post, it'll come up on my phone as a notification. It's like, time to take a selfie. <laughs> I'm like, that's scary. My so, niece, people are like hilarious. They're like, what are you doing? Because I take, I don't, we don't ever take, I never go anywhere and eat a meal without taking a picture first. It's like no one's allowed to, to eat, take a bite until I take a picture because I might need it for a post. Right. Everywhere I go, and people are like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm chronicling my life." Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good. I don't care what anybody's what doing. That's really cool to have that too. But um, <laughs> Facebook can print it out for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I mean that. That's pretty much what we. I kind of wanted to go over and keep it simple and kind of low key. Those are like the important parts right now. I don't want to get. Do we? Should we get into like what to inviting and all that? One, um, you're going to invite, and when you do your invitation, it's not going to be awkward because people know, like, and trust you. They're starting to know, like, and trust you. Um, they're definitely knowing you. They're definitely liking you if they're following. They want to trust you, so they're watching you very carefully. So just know that pe it's like your children. They're watching you. So be careful you don't post anything negative, nothing negative, nothing thoughtless. If you need to say something sad or you're upset about something, make it a thoughtful post. Don't get on there. Don't do passive aggressive things. People will flock away from you. Mm. You have to be really careful with, you know, it's, it's like, you know, do you drive drunk? No, don't post drunk. Don't post angry. Don't post you know, aggressively, you have to be really careful because you can offend a lot of people. Stay away from hot topics. Don't give your opinions on politics. Well, on unless you're speaking. willing to back it. Like, Tara Carr does it. One of our, one, uh, some people will do it, but you have to be prepared for that backlash. And if you are, great. That's fine. It gets, it gets a lot of people talking, but. Yeah, I, I don't like having a battle. I, I posted I reposted this lovely picture of children in Africa holding hands and, and this little thing about how if, all, if only, you know, they all eat or nobody eats or something like that. And people had a fight in my comments. Like they argued back and forth that this is socialism and this is it. I'm like, no, it was a pretty picture. You know, I don't want that on my page. And if somebody posts something negative, I got to tell you, I quietly remove it. And then I message the person and say, and I also have it set so nobody can post on my page but me. I approve anything that goes on that page first. So I'm not going to be out all day, come home and find something weird or gross on my page. No, no, I have to approve it. Yeah, you guys also want to make sure that your cover photo and your profile picture is just a normal picture. It's not like a picture of your cat only. Because you're going to be friending people and they're going to see like your name and then a cat picture without your face. Like, you know, they're going to be like, okay, I don't understand. I don't know who that is. So it doesn't have to be a professional picture, but something cleaner, 
So it's not like a fuzzy, weird picture. You just want something normal. Could be you and your family. It could be anything. Just make sure that it's not like, you know, weird. Because <laughs> then when you friend people, people are going to be like, I'm not, I'm not friending her. I'm not accepting. <laughs> when I see somebody with a picture of a cat or uh, anime or something, and that's their profile yeah. picture, number one, I know they're overweight <laughs> and they're hiding. Is that <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So I know that they're overweight. I also know we have a little bit of social issues. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of things. You talk so, to them, and you probably talk to them. Well, of course I do. I have three cats. Who are you talking to? I have three cats and a dog. Mm -hmm. So I go right in. I, but right. The first thing I do is I go into their photos and look at their profile pictures. I want to see a picture of that person. It's just, if there's no pictures of the person, yeah. they're really heavy or there's something wrong. Yeah. There should be some picture, some family picture. Be just, I am, I have, I friend everybody, you know, except for the people from, you know, Nigeria that want to, you know, send me $5,000 if I send them 10000 uh, or um or men. I, you know what? Yeah, I agree. There is honestly no reason in the world for you to accept friend requests from men. They do not want to buy a program from you. Trust me. They are not buying anything from you. They're not going to be your coach. They're looking for a date. So don't waste your time. Just move, move on. The okay. Audience, the target demographics for Beachbody is what? 30 to 45 women moms, right? Yeah. So that's really what you're looking for. So I'm over that just a year or two, but I still am looking for that target audience. So I provide things. That's the other thing is Tara was saying, look for people like you, but I can't do that because I won't have a, I won't have a market the way I need to have a market. So I provide value to moms who are 30 to 45 and I have figured out what they want. So they are now coming to my page. It took a while to target, but you know, you want to target that audience and it's not 18 year old males are not our target audience. You know, don't, don't get, don't get distracted by creepy guys. Um, also, if you're probably wondering like, so do you randomly friend request people? That you don't know well you're going to start and if you um i will post that video that i showed like where you can do this but if you go into your facebook and you go into friend request there's a place where you can search you could type in your high school your old high school your college whatever and you can find people that you remember like that maybe you were in a class with or or I went through like my brother's friend's girlfriend, like people that I knew, but I just wasn't friends with on Facebook. Start there. And then you're going to start, like once you, you're gonna run out of people, you're gonna actually start adding people that you don't know, that you may have a mutual friend. Or you're going to start going into groups and building, expanding your network that way and meeting people in different groups. Like there's different types of groups out there, like Disney groups, or I was obsessed with Body Rock. It's like a fitness thing. Um, and I met people through there. Um, so you can do that and meet people through groups. You can meet people through your friends, through family. Um, on a like page eventually I don't want any of you guys like jumping to that if you don't have if you have one from a while ago that's okay but it's really hard you're gonna eventually start using them but it's hard to have start off as a new coach and do both and because a lot of times with your like page you have to run ads um, so you have to put money into it to get it to have people see your stuff Facebook. But we're still perfecting the ads. It's, yeah. Don't throw money away now. Yeah. Facebook makes it really hard and they want your money for advertising, obviously, because that's where they make their money. But Which is fine because it's inexpensive advertising and it's great advertising, but it takes a long time. I still don't know what I'm doing with that. And it's a year. I hardly so, do. You know, I'm you're, really you're, you're better at it. You're two years. <laughs> okay. I'm so, testing everything and I'm trying test, to get it right. Tests, we try it. She tests, we try it. So work from your your regular page, 
I mean, you can build a huge business on your regular page. Huge. Mm -hmm. But, you know, start with the small stuff. Start with what we told you today. When you're, it, and you're building relationships. So if you're talking to people, um, I don't know if I want to open up this bag of worms. What time is it? What? No, probably not. I can't. Like inviting and building relationships and all that. I think well, the whole point of sharing your life is because you're starting to build relationships. So every once in a while, I don't know how often Tara is going to recommend when she's ready to show you how to do an invite, you're going to post something on your page. But by that point, they know you, they like you, they're beginning to trust you, like I said before. And they're ready, they're ready to ask you questions. They're going to say, what are you doing? How does it work? And it's going to be very organic. If you're doing it right, they ask you. Right. Right. You and say, you know, I'm having a group. I just posted tonight. I'm having a group. It starts November, uh, November 30th. It runs to December 20th. I put, so they know it ends before Christmas. Here's what you would get. Message me if you're interested. And people will, you know, I said like, like, comment, or message. So they'll like comment or send me a message and say, what are you doing? What's in the group? How much is it? You know, they'll come to me and ask. It's kind of like you put a, a sign up and at your store and then people come in to buy whatever it is. Yeah. And it takes time to get there. Like if your first couple of posts like that might not get any traction, but people are watching. So that's why we're going to, so what you guys want to be doing right now is building relationships and that's through what you're posting that's through going to people's pages and liking and commenting on their stuff and being real. And that means reaching out to people that maybe you haven't talked to in a while. Reach out to them and say something about the, uh, their, their, kids, their family vacation. And tell them the pictures were so great and they ask them where they went. And, you know, those are the types of things. Like, you can bring it into a message and be real with people that you haven't talked to in a long time, but you know. So reconnect with people like that in the next week. That's what I want you guys to focus on. Posting regularly, sharing your journey, and reconnecting with people. And then next Thursday, we're going to jump into inviting because we're going to have a challenge group on November 30th as well. And we, we're going to help you get a couple people in there buying challenge packs. Okay. But we have to start somewhere. So right now you have to start being consistent in your posting, reaching out, building those relationships. And on Thursday, and if you want to jump ahead, we have a lot of invitation scripts um, in the dream again, file section. But here's the thing. When you're using these things, you need to be yourself. You can't, <coughs> you need to be yourself. It's best if you use Messenger or get them on the phone and actually talk to them about what you're doing. Don't overthink it and don't, like, the less is more, okay? When you're talking to someone, you're asking them little questions, you're going back and forth with them, you're providing a lot of value, and then you get them on the phone and talk about what a challenge pack is. But we're going to talk about that on Thursday um, and then you'll have plenty of time to get people into that next challenge group. Do your three vital behaviors. Yes. Does, okay. Questions. I'm going to unmute. Well, if you have a question, just, I can, un, you can unmute yourself. You just have to click on the little microphone or if you're on the phone, maybe I should unmute everyone. Just unmute everybody. All right. Hold on. Unmute all. No. Okay. Okay, anyone have a question? Don't be afraid. Uh -huh. Just speak up if you have a question. I need to mute myself. All I hear is Jillian. I'm going to mute you, Jillian. <laughs> no one has a question? I have you, actually. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I just got 
um, hold on, honey. I'm gonna wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. Um, I just got my my box today, and I'm not really sure where to begin. Do I just go ahead and start posting and anytime? Um, okay. <laughs> Who's your coach? Uh, Michelle Bollinger. Okay. Did she send you a welcome email? She's going to. I talked to her tonight. Okay. So she'll send you the link to the Inspiration Dream Team training, and you'll start the new coach training in there. But what I would do, you're, are you, you're probably going to be in a challenge group? I think so, yeah. 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 So she'll walk you through, like, um, the challenge and unpacking and unpacking the box and, and seeing what you have. Um, but you can definitely like post on your page and just say, Hey, I'm so excited to start this. Keep me accountable. And then you could tag her in it. You know what I'm saying? And take a picture of your challenge pack. I took a picture. I took it all out. I put it on the floor. I took a picture. I sent it to Stacy and I said, look what I got. And I posted it on my page and I wasn't even a coach. I mean, I was just mm -hmm. so excited. Show you're excited. And okay. you know, I mean, it's great content. Yeah. I'm starting. I'm so excited. And then it'll hold you accountable because you'll be like, okay, I got to be, you know, yeah. it's good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? Elaine, do you have a question? Wait a minute. Why are you muted? I can't hear I can't you. I can't hear either. But you're not muted. Or maybe her computer's on mute. Can you turn your volume up? Check that. You know what? Sometimes when you click on the Zoom call, it says speaker enabled or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe you didn't click that. Audio, something, yeah. You want to type it in in the chat box? Do yeah. You see the chat box on the bottom. It says chat if you click on it. Type it in and we'll answer. Anyone else have a question? I love seeing everyone on here. You guys are so awesome. Who's the bottom person from Westchester? 914-837-0568. Who is that? Oh, that's me, Barbara McCann. Barbara McCann. Barbara, who's your upline coach? Uh, Sarah Klausman. Oh, you're mine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome. I'm so excited. All you New Yorkers. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Elaine, I have been looking at people's Facebooks and trying to find content to like. The issue is that I can only share the post due to their. Oh, wait a minute. So you're going on people's pages and you're liking, oh, to share it to your page, you're saying? You can only share it when you're friends with them. Wait, she's, I'm confused. The issue is that I can only share the post due to their privacy setting. What do I do with that? Do you want to share other people's posts? She's typing. I can't like or comment. Oh. oh, they're not your friend. You have to be friends with them to be able to like or comment. You have to friend request them. Yep. So do you, yeah, you just, no, just friend, if you know, do you know them? Or acquaintance maybe? Yep, send a friend request. If they're like someone, haven't talked, that's fine. Just send them a friend request. It won't be weird. Friends of friends. Yeah. I would start with three a day. Then you can up it. But um, that would keep it manageable for you too. So you add three a day. Then you can reach out to them and like them. Like, for example, I'm going to just give you guys a rundown. You can friend request someone. Once they accept, you get on their page for the next couple of days. You like a couple of their things. You can comment under one of their pictures. You're there. 
They're going to look at your page. They're going to see what you're doing. It goes that whole week. You'll be in and out of each other's pages. Then you could bring it into a message later that week or the following week. And it won't be weird because they're seeing you around. You're there. They're on your page. They might even comment and like on your stuff. So it's kind of, you know, that's how, that's how it works. And we're going to kind of run down exactly um, what you can, different ways of doing that. But I'm going to actually post a video um, in, I don't know where I put, I think I put it in a different group, but I'll put it in Dream Again so you guys can all see it. I'll do it right after this call. It's of what I do in the morning and what, and you'll kind of see how I go in and, and do friend requests and that type of thing. You put it in New Kids on the Block? Yeah, but I, we don't use that anymore. So I'll have to, I hope, I think I have a link to it. So that's it. Anyone else have any questions? It's so hot. I'm like hot. Okay. Um, we normally have, uh, so we'll have this call every Thursday night at nine. And then um, make sure you're on, you try to get on the national wake up call on Monday mornings. If not catch the recording, they're always great and motivating. Do they know what that is? National wake up call. Okay. Some people might not. National wake up call is basically, um, Beachbody has a big conference call and usually they have a, they have a guest speaker, like one of the top coaches talking about a specific topic and it's, it's always awesome. And it really will like get your week started off. Right. There is also, and I know I mentioned this, there's also a, um, podcast for team beach body so if you go to um if you have an iphone or any does any other phone get i don't know but the iphones do i'm sure and you podcast. Can, i think everybody can yeah, get it's just podcast app and then you go to team beach body coach podcast and you can download i mean they're all there so you can like be on a run or a walk or or on your way to work and listen to them. And you could fast forward through all the rank advancements, which is like the first 10 minutes of the call. So it's even better sometimes to listen to them on the podcast, um, especially if you're working and stuff. But make sure you get plugged into that. Um, and then we normally have our big team calls every other Monday night. Um, I believe we will not have one the 16th, though, because we're going to do an event. And we'll talk a little bit. We'll talk about that another time. Okay, so that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you for being on. I know it's late for some of you. Um, and just make sure you start start tomorrow. Don't wait till Monday. Start tomorrow with the posting and just friend requests, sending some friend requests and building those relationships. That's key. Okay? Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.